it up right about here. Let's pick it up right about here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap composing in pentatonic parallel, part nine, Shadow Melodies. In today's adventure, our goals have been to expand our melody set, create Shadow Melodies collection score. So we did that. To continue with our shadow projections theme, which is over here. The idea is that we're now using a set of scales. We have a bright scale, a light with minor and major scale, we have a dark with minor and major, and the new thing is we have a shadow scale with common and uncommon. So continuing with that projection theme, uh, double check what we call our napkin diagrams, which is all these things we've been doing ever since we started this series. And we went through and kind of copied out highlights from that. So we did that. And that's to make sure we kind of keep track of this shadow projections theme. Where did it come from? Uh, how did we pick these two scales to work with? How did we suddenly generate shadow scales from it? We also wanted to keep exploring visualization, and we've done that. And we wanted to look again for some examples about melodies, and we did that. So one of our key results was we had looked at a Russian dancer video a couple streams ago, and that, we just love seeing it again and again and again. Um, we, we, took, we watched it once, and we took notes and, uh, when we watched it again. So there's three dancers. There's the star dancer, and there's the two duo dancers and the the star starts out with precise small movements of his hands and his shoulders and feet whereas the duo are doing large movements dramatic arm movements upper body movements lower body movements legs so the small precise is playing against the large bold movements um, sometimes the duo are dancing in a mirror and sometimes they're going in parallel uh, all of them sometimes they're very small, precise steps, and sometimes they're giant, bold steps, kicking their legs up, um, throwing their arms up. Dramatic changes in height, full height, bent over half their height. Um, something I've never seen before is the intense shimmying in the shoulders. Um, and then what I call misdirection, like the star starts doing something like ignoring the duo and the duo are doing something ignoring the star and then they sort of accidentally come together on the stage but they're not really coordinating their movements with each other so it's a it's and there's one point where the star is pointing to the left and pointing to the right and you think they're pointing to the members of the team but they're not they're pointing up to the ceiling and then all of a sudden near the end they suddenly start joining for real um, so there's a seeming joining and an actual joining uh, at, at when it wraps up. And sometimes they're very casual, like the duo is just kind of doing this little s slight kind of back and forth. Sometimes a big dramatic feel, a lot of sideways movement, vertical jumping up and down, and then sometimes a lot of spinning and running around the stage, 360. And then they actually trade where you, even though the duo is always on the left and right, like stereo, sometimes they're what's drawing your attention because the star is being quiet. And then suddenly the star is active and pulling your attention, and yet the duo are very active. So they trade where primary attention is focused. So this continues to be a visual as well as musical inspiration source for us. Um, we reviewed our previous work and in the first snippet, we especially like the syncopation in it. The second one, we especially like the variations. We did a lot of variations in parts of the scales being used. And the third snippet, we really like their part we call the dance in there. So that happened. So yeah, that was we, we, something we liked and something we wished about each of the three snippets. We want to do more of that. Now, one of the fun things is we 
we did a, a visualization using angle brightness driven by best pitch. So let's show you that one here. This was a prior composition using the 7-2 scale and the 2-7 scale. And the two parts dance here on the stage. Here we go. So that was that, and we then um, created a Shadow Scales Melody composition, uh, Compilation Score, and that turned out to be interesting, um, and we just want to rewind and play this first part for you in a minute, and then compare it to this. So we took uh, each of the elements of our scales, the 2772, seven, seven, two, the 3443, three, and the, the, sh the shadow and the bright. And we went in here and we were just kind of playing around with it. And we took the first seven notes of, of the tonality reference area. Then of the next one, and then the shadow. because uh, we wanted to hear what it sounded like. And then we took the end notes. And then the bright is, is the bright only has seven notes in our reference, so it's always seven. And we liked how those contrasted with each other. So that was the, basic idea of exploring that. And the other thing that we did, we had another piece of work and it had these musical elements in it and they're all uh, in 2772, 2772. So this was reassuring to us because basically there's only six notes in the 2772 scale and yet we had an entire two minute composition with a lot of parts and richness, and yet these are the only 12 melodic elements in the entire uh, composition. Six notes, 12, six atoms. Uh, there's a metaphor where, a, where a, a melody is an atom. That's one. Anyway, so like that. It's a bit of a metaphor. It's not perfect, but it's interesting. So what we want to do is play the compilation. But the interesting thing is this is the 2-7 scale just as it begins. And then if you listen to this as it just begins, same thing. So we composed this about six months ago. Today we visualized it. But this was a playing off of the 2-7 and the 7-2 uh, scales against each other. So now, we'll just listen to this. These are the melodies we have compiled to date.
So that concludes today's stream. Um, our ideas for continuing. Oh, we have so many ideas that it feels like are still pending from the diagram and the video reviews. Uh, we want to explore visualizing some more, something we call a meter needle effect. Uh, we can start adding sequences to the simple notes. This showed how powerful that can be. More exploring of the new codes, chords. We have shadow full chords, three new chords we found in the last stream. And in the snippet number two, we experiment with combining light and dark chords together to get tetrachords, which sounded really neat. And then already snippet three used a different um, tempo and snippet one has a different time signature so instead of trying to have a kind of a common time signature and a common tempo we're starting to say well let's just go ahead and vary it within the composition as we start combining our pieces together and as always our favorite to be determined will we make another snippet will we make another visualization will we blossom with more melody ideas tune in next time thank you as always for your time and attention and interest and questions and we will see you soon and as always keep on streaming <laughs>